What is going on, guys? It is Bet Slam with Sam. UFC 299 is this weekend, and I am super freaking excited. We are going to talk about the main event, Sugar Sean O'Malley taking on Marlon Cheeto Vera. You know, I always call him Cheeto Vera, so sometimes I forget his fucking name is Marlon. Guys, I am pumped for this matchup. I know it is a rematch, but in some regards, it's not. The first fight didn't really show us a whole lot, and both of these, these fighters have evolved a tremendous amount since then. One thing I did want to point out, you know, doing my deep dives on the fighters, as I always do, at the point that Sean O'Malley and Marlon Vera fought one another, they were at very different stages in their careers. It was Sean O'Malley's just fourth appearance inside of the UFC, whereas Marlon Vera had had 15 UFC showings at that point. You know, I had no idea that Marlon Vera had been fighting in the UFC for as fucking long as he has. It was crazy. I went back, watched both of their fights at around the time. You know, Marlon Vera's fight with Song Yadong, fucking phenomenal round three. And guys, I think Marlon Vera might have been better back then than he is now. And I want to speak on that because Marlon Vera is a tough, tough son of a bitch, man. You know, he was eating power right hands from just about everybody he's ever fought, but particularly Song Yadong, and particularly in that third round of their fight, he was just eating them across the chin, no head movement, no, nothing except heart, you know. Cheeto Vera is a dog. He is a fighter's fighter. The man comes to win. He never gives up on himself. But, and this is a big but, I do believe his best days are behind him. I think that his best performances are in the past, whereas when we look to Sean O'Malley, you know, recently become the UFC champion, he is picking this matchup because he's got something to prove here. He wants to show everybody that he should have won the first matchup. It was a bit of a freak injury caused by one leg kick from Cheeto Vera. And he tried to fight out of that and honestly was an early stoppage as well. You know, I know that he could barely stand, but, you know, Marlon Vera hit him with a couple of elbows and then the fight was over. You know, who knows whether O'Malley would have been able to get up and do something about it. Who fucking knows? What is important is that the matchup is here. Again, we get to fucking watch it. I'm pumped for it. Now, what are my thoughts? I watched Sean O'Malley versus Piotr Jan. Rewatched that fight. And it showcased just how damn good Sean O'Malley is. Although I thought Piotr Jan won that fight 2-1. That's neither here nor there. We're not talking about Piotr Jan in this video, but we will be in one of the next ones. Guys, Sean O'Malley can do it all. You know, he can defend takedowns. He can get up off the ground once he is taken down. He can fight off the fence. He can fight out in the middle. He can kick. He can strike. He can get cracked and get back up from it. Sean O'Malley is not a fucking pussy, guys. In that fight versus Piotr Jan, he ate some shit. He came out of some rounds thinking, God damn. And he still came out in that third round, did everything that he could, you know. Win or lose in that matchup, that is beside the point. Because what I want to talk about here is Cheeto Vera, right, he waits. He is hesitant. And often he gets outstruck up until the point where he's able to damage his opponents to a point where he wins decisions based off damage because Marlon Vera's skin is made out of fucking titanium or something. It's pretty hard to cut that dude. He never really wears the damage that much, even when he gets the shit beat out of him. I mean, and a perfect example of this is when he fought Rob Font, it looked like Marlon Vera had fucking cinder blocks in both of his hands, and he was just busting the shit out of Rob Font's face. Rob Font was outstriking him. Like, on numbers, he was outstriking him. Strikes to the head, outstrike him. But Marlon Vera does not get cut. I don't know what his skin is made of. Maybe a fucking rhinoceros could, could, could tell you. But Sean O'Malley here, guys, he's going to be the pick for me, okay? He's got that reach. He's got the speed. He's got the swagger. And I just believe that in the point at which he is in his career now, this fight for him is actually, in my eyes, a step down in competition as to what he's recently faced. I think that it is Sean O'Malley's time here. And the people that are going to dethrone him are not Marlon Vera. There are harder challenges in the future for him. And as far as the price tag goes, Sean O'Malley, bit of a favorite here. I don't mind it. I'm happy to pay that dollar figure for him. You know, I will say to people, maybe don't beat him by the knockout because Marlon Vera is incredibly tough, man. Watching him just eat right hand after right hand from Song Yudong kind of reminded me of when I bet on Alexander Volkanovsky to knock out Max Holloway in their third matchup. And 
you know, Volkanovski beat the fucking shit out of Max. Like, he beat the shit out of him. I'm a big Max Holloway fan, but Volk beat the fuck out of him in that third fight and still didn't die. You know, <laughs> the man is made of something else. And I think that Cheeto Vera is made of the same shit because that man is tough as nails. And I don't know if O'Malley's going to be able to get him out of here. So I do caution people betting the knockout, even though O'Malley does have crazy power, crazy timing, and crazy speed. I suggest if you are going to take him, take him on the money line. Be interesting to see what the over one and a half or over two and a half rounds looks like in this matchup. That could be something that I mess around with as well. But Sean O'Malley is going to be the pick, guys. And, you know, he's going to be the pick. He's my pick. I'm pumped for this fucking fight. UFC 299. It's one of the sickest cards of the year. One of the sickest cards of all time, honestly. Because I have watched all of these fighters come to this point and... There are so many matchups where I'm just ah, fucking fizzing for. This is absolutely one of them. And there's a bunch of fights on this card where I'm like, they could all be the main event because I'm so fucking pumped for them. But Sean O'Malley's going to be the pick. He's going to defeat Marlon Vera. Can he knock him out? I don't know. But I'm not going to be playing that angle just yet, you know, just yet. So don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you did enjoy, send it to your fucking nan.